In this lesson, you will learn how to compare decimals. A decimal number includes a decimal point. And below, I have a place value table that shows the decimal places. So directly to the right of the decimal point, and here's the decimal point, directly to the right is the tenths place. To the right of the tenths place is the hundredths place. Let's talk about a few different decimal numbers and how you would read them. So what if you had the number 12.3? And let's just clean up that too. So we have 12.34. How would we read this? Well, because the decimal goes out to the hundredths place, right? We have a digit in the hundredths place. We read this number as 12 and 34 hundredths. Now let's talk about a different number. What if you had the number 5.8? Now because this number goes out to the tenths place, you read this as 5 and 8 tenths. Now sometimes you'll need to compare two decimal numbers to determine which is greater and which is lesser. In this lesson, you will learn some strategies for comparing decimals with the help of a visual. So let's take a look at our first visual. Here we have two fraction models, and we can count. If you count each model, let's find out how many parts are in the whole. So I'm just going to mark them with dots and count aloud. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this means the denominator here would be 10. Now let's count how many parts are in the hole that has the green shading. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This hole also is divided into 10 parts, so the denominator is 10 as well. Now let's go in and count how many parts are red, right? One, two, three, four, five parts are red in the model on the left. So this shows five tenths. And then over here in green, let's count those. One, two, three, four, five. So this also shows five tenths. But are these two fractions equal? They're not equal. And the reason is that the models are different size holes. The model on the right is larger than the model on the left, so you can't really compare these and say that 5 tenths on the left in red equals the same 5 tenths in green. Just like other fractions, you can't compare the fractions unless they are out of the same size hole. So that's something you need to remember. Now let's go ahead and compare decimals when they are part of the same whole. And we're going to get those decimals from fractions. And let's take a look at those models. So with this new model, we'll, we'll label this B over here. So we already did problem A, which we know we couldn't compare these two fractions because the models were different size holes. Now in model B, we can see that each model is the same size. So we're talking about the same whole. The only difference is the number of parts that are shaded and the number of total parts in each hole. So if you count the number of parts on the left, you'll find that there are 10 total parts. So this would be the denominator for this fraction. And over here, this is a hundredths grid because there are 100 parts in this hole. So the denominator of this model would be 100. So let me just recap. These are tenths. And on the right, you have a hundredths model. So let's see. On the left, you have 1, 2, 3 tenths filled in. So this is the fraction, 3 tenths. And then over here on the hundredth side, if you count this out, you'll see that there are 25 hundredths shaded in green. So we want to be able to write these fractions as decimals now. 3 over 10 is the fraction 3 tenths. And you can put this into the place value chart here. 3 tenths would be 0 0.3, right, because we have 3 tenths, and we have zero ones, zero tens, and zero hundredths. Now let's think about the green model. If we have 25 hundredths, we write this in the place value chart by putting the last digit in the hundredths place, then two in the tenths place, decimal point, and zero. So this number has zero tens, zero ones, decimal point, two tenths, and five hundredths. Now you can see that 3 tenths is greater than 25 hundredths. And you can see this just on the visual alone. Because these are the same size whole, the red space is a greater amount of the whole than the green space is here. So already you should be thinking that 3 tenths is greater than 25 hundredths. And now if we were writing this out as a decimal, right, we would 
3 tenths is 0 0.3, and we're going to say that this is greater than 0 0.25. And we did this with the help of the visual. We could just tell by the space alone which number was greater. But now let's try a comparison of two decimals without a visual. Compare 4.38 and 4.67. So this is 4 and 38 hundredths. Now how would we write that? Let's start with the ones place. We'll put this in the ones column. We have four ones, three tenths, and eight hundredths. Or you could say this as four and 38 hundredths. Next, we have four ones and 67 hundredths, or six tenths and seven hundredths. And we want to compare these two decimals to know which one is greater. The digit in the ones place is the same for both numbers. And the reason I'm focusing on the ones place first is because it's the greatest place value for both of these numbers. The greatest place value will always be the place value that is furthest to the left in the number. So since the digits in the ones place are the same, both numbers have a 4, you have to then go and compare the tenths place. And the tenths place is the next greatest place value after the ones. So let's look at the digits here. The first number has 3 tenths, and the second number has 6 tenths. Now, the digit 6 is greater than 3, which means that 6 tenths is greater than 3 tenths, right? And that's because 6 is greater than 3. So because we've already found a difference in the number, we can stop here and we can make our comparison. So we have 4.38, or 4 and 38 hundredths, and then we have 4.67, or 4 and 67 hundredths. Now, because 4.67 has more hun has more tenths, sorry, has 6 tenths, and this number only has 3 tenths, we are going to say that 4.38 is less than 4.67. Now, if the tenths place had digits that were also the same, you would go to the hundredths place and then make your comparison from there. In this lesson, you've learned how to compare decimals. Happy solving!